Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to my RuneScape Authenticator tutorial video. Seeing as it is currently the end of Jagex's security week, I figured I would make a noob-friendly tutorial on how to activate the RuneScape Authenticator. Seeing is next to just not clicking on bad links, the Authenticator is probably one of the best ways to ensure the security of your account so you don't get hacked or anything of that effect. This is going to be a very noob-friendly tutorial, so I'm going to cover basically everything that you need to do in this process. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the RuneScape homepage, you're going to go to just the general RuneScape homepage, not the specific one for old school RuneScape. Once you're here, you're going to go up to account in the top right hand corner and click on it, at which point you will be brought to this screen here. And then you're going to obviously sign in and click login. And then once you do sign in, you'll be brought to the account settings homepage. Since we are activating our authenticator, that is of course the tab that you're going to click on. Now I do have authenticator already installed on this account, but I can still show you everything that you need to do in order to activate it. And for that, I'm just going to go to another account that I don't use anymore, and I can show you from there. But I did just want to show you guys that I do have Authenticator and that I'm not coming from a point of not knowing what I'm talking about here. So if you have not activated the Authenticator, this is what the screen will look like for you. I'm going to go ahead and click on Enable Now. And once that loads, this is what your screen will look like. It'll give you a bunch of information. You can kind of ignore it for right now because I'm going to give you all the steps one by one. So you can kind of just ignore this. What you're going to do is just click set up now. And this is actually where you're going to stop in terms of stuff that you have to do on your PC. The rest is going to be on your phone. I am going to be showing the screenshots on an iOS device, but there are a lot of similarities with an Android device. So you can probably figure it out that way. But now what you're going to want to do is to go to the home screen on your phone. You're going to see up in the top right corner, I do have my apps icon that I've clicked on now. It's in its own little folder. It might be different for you. Uh, if you have trouble finding it, a nice little trick that you can do is if you swipe down, you can get an automatic search bar so you can just search for it. But once you have located your app store icon, you can go ahead and click on that, which will take you to this screen you're seeing right here. So in the search bar on the top, all you have to do is type in authenticator. And the first thing that's going to come up is going to be the Google Authenticator. There are a couple ones you can use. I think uh, Jagex supports the Microsoft Authenticator, but the one that I'm going to be showing here is the Google Authenticator. It works perfectly fine in my opinion. There are apparently some problems if you try to switch it between devices, but I haven't switched devices in like three years, so I'm not that worried about it. So what you're going to go ahead and do is download it. That will be right where mine says open. Of course, I already have it downloaded, so I can't re-download it. But once it's finished downloading, it should appear on the last page of your home screen. On my phone, I already have it in its own little folder, so it's obviously not on its own page, but for you, that's where it'll be located once it finishes downloading. And it's going to look like it does right there, just a little white icon with kind of a safe icon on it. And this is what the home screen of the Authenticator app is going to look like. I've just blurred out my names and all that stuff, so if you're wondering what those black bars are, that's what that is. Don't need to worry about it. That's where your account name and the login information will appear once you've activated it. So what you're going to do is go up into the top right corner here and click on that plus sign. And then you're going to get a little icon in the bottom of the screen that says scan barcode or manual entry. For our purposes, we're going to click on scan barcode. And then I've really just taken a picture of a wall. But what you're going to want to do here is line up that green box with the code that was on your PC from earlier. And then as soon as you do that, it should register it and automatically put it into your phone. And you should see it pop up there once you're done. I can see it on my phone here. I just activated the authenticator on account that previously didn't have one and that's already there. Now you're going to come back to your PC and on step three, enter the code. You're going to enter the code that is currently displayed on your Authenticator app. Be aware it does change or update every 20 seconds. So you're going to have to be a little bit quick about it. You don't want to dilly dally. Otherwise it'll change the codes in the middle and you'll miss out on it. But once you have finished entering the code, just click finish and you'll be good to go. And then you'll be given this screen here. Your account is now protected. Uh, so this is really all you have to do. Now the authenticator is active on your account. You can go do the stronghold of security and old school RuneScape and get your free 10K. I'm pretty sure that's why most people want to do it. Uh, other than just the big benefit that it does definitely secure your account better than most things. But yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial video. It's not a very complicated one, but it's one that I don't think noobs give enough credit to. It's a pretty important thing to do if you're trying to secure your account. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like on it if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it, and I will see you guys later.